All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to show you how I package my books for submission to CGC. Um, you want to go through your books, double check them as many times as you need to, two, three times. Make sure you've got all your books in the invoice. Make sure there's no books stuck to each other. Make sure you're not missing a book. Um, that way you avoid problems in the future. Um, so this is how I uh, marked the Rise Zero's matte and glossy last time. So there's a glossy, um, and I'm gonna try this again, and hopefully they get them right. Um, the other thing I like to do is I alternate the spines. So basically the books are gonna be, um, you know, one's right side up and one's upside down, okay? Um, I do that because you don't want all of your books' uh, spines lined up on one side because that side's gonna get uh, thicker. And you don't want to take the book and, and put them, you know, cover to cover because I've done that before. And what can actually happen is the um, staples can leave tiny indents on the other book. So you don't want to do that. Keep all your, your covers facing one way and then just rotate your books um, up and down uh, like I've done here. Okay. So we've got uh, a bunch of Rye Zeros, um, glossies, and uh, one matte. Okay. Uh, we got these two ultimate fallouts, which were uh, 9.0s, uh, unpressed. These were the testers that I sent in to see what CGC would do um, to basically an unpressed ultimate fallout for. Um, so these are now going to go in, and I wanted to keep them separate as a separate submission, so I know that these are the two books that used to be 9.0s, and then we'll see what my presser was able to do. Um, I've got two of these rags, uh, number two, uh, Patron uh, Mecha variants. Uh, we got a Spawn Black and White. Super excited for this book. I'm hoping it's going to come back a 9.6. Uh, we got two more um, Batman Adventures 12s that were 9.0s that got pressed. Um, so hoping maybe just bump them to like a 9.2. Um, these two uh, Medieval Spawn Witchblade Peralo covers were rejects from my last uh, big submission where I had them as a pre-screen 9.8. Um, so we tried to uh, press those and whether they are 9.8 or 9.6s, I still want them uh, graded. Uh, same thing with this one. This was another reject. Uh, we're sending that back. Um, got it pressed. Uh, if it comes back a 9.6, I'm okay with that. And then we have the Punisher uh, number one, Del Auto. Uh, Virgin variant, same thing. This was rejected, got it pressed. If it does come back in 9.6, I'm okay with that. Okay, so we've got all the books. We've double-checked everything. We've got all of the uh, spines alternating from right to left by having the books go um, upside down or right side up. So you might think I'm crazy, but you can actually get all 25 books into a CGC uh, bag and do the entire submission basically as one brick. Okay, and uh, the advantage to this um, is on the uh, receiving end over at CGC, it's much easier for them to just take all the comics out of one bag than to sit there and have to fight um, with, you know, if you make each book a brick, you know, when you take uh, cardboard and glue it to you know either one side or both sides of that book and then take all of that and um, start wrapping it in bubble wrap and so on and so forth it's going to take them forever to uh, unbox your books and um, you know they're humans and I bet that the people in the uh, receiving end are not like the highest paid employees over at CGC so you know if you have a sea of tape and a sea of of bricks you know for one submission they might kind of get frustrated and start rushing the job. Now, I don't know that for sure, but I just know, you know, how people are, right? You know, they're all humans, okay? So we've got all the books um, in the bag, and you see they fit, you know, relatively nicely. You want to make sure you get everything lined up, and then we're going to tape this end shut here, okay? And you want to use painter's tape, okay? I would recommend either the blue the um, not the green because that's not quite sticky enough but blue this is this is Sharon Williams equivalent to blue it's their um, you know uh, fluorescent orange or whatever but uh, anyway so I always do tape pulls okay you want to make it easy for the person 
on the other end who's going to unpack this. So we'll go ahead and stretch this uh, bag nice and tight. And we'll go ahead and get that taped on there like that. And I'll do one more. Okay, same thing. Always do tape pulls. We want to make this super easy for the person to get all these books out of the bag so that CGC can do their thing. Okay, we don't want to give someone a bad day and have it take them, you know, an hour and they're stressing out because now, you know, they've only got one submission done where, you know, with this, they're going to be able to unbox this so, so easily. Okay, now this is just a standard Gemini mailer. Um, and what I do is I resize this to make it work exactly for this bundle. Okay, and uh, the way we do that, we're going to go ahead and just place it here like this. And what you're going to do is fold this up right on its first uh, break here. Okay, we're going to fold it up and then we're going to see where, you know, when you press the, the stuff down and keep it tight, see where it kind of hits. Okay, so I'm going to make a mark right here like this. Okay, so that's where it's hitting. All right, we can do the same thing on this side. Make sure you can see that, okay? I'm going to push it down, just make it nice and snug without putting too much pressure on it. And we're going to make a mark right here as to where it looks like that that needs to uh, be adjusted down, okay? So now we can get our uh, brick out of here. And we can open this back up. And we're going to make those adjustments now um, to this Gemini mailer. So our mark is here, okay? We just use a... Uh, you know, pieces of, of uh, more cardboard um, as a straight edge, no big deal, all right? So that looks good there. I'm gonna make our line. Um, then I'm gonna take a razor blade. Now the key is you only wanna cut halfway through the cardboard. Let me make sure you guys can see this, okay? So once you start doing this, you'll get pretty fast at it. You know, if you wanna just go very gentle and, and do it um, twice or something, that's fine. You just don't wanna cut all the way through the carpet, uh, cardboard. And then that's going to give it a natural break point there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the other side over here. There's our line right there. Okay, and um, I'm drawing these lines, and, and honestly, um, once you get good at it, I don't even really draw the lines. I just um, hold the straight edge there and then make my um, cut. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and test it, make sure it works. If you screw up royally or something, just grab another Gemini mailer, man. This is this is a CGC submission, you know. Don't worry about um, 50 cents over here, okay? So let's see how it's going to break here, okay? Look at that. Nice, right? Okay, we'll do the same thing on this side. Break right there. Perfect, okay? So this is pretty much ready to go, but I'm not going to quite fold it up yet, all right? We're going to do the same thing here. I want to fold this up and see where it's going to hit, okay? Then the same thing, I'm going to line it up and mark a, a mark over here so we know where to break this at, okay? So I'm thinking right about here. And I already know from doing these that the other side is going to be the exact same distance from this break up, okay? But we'll, we'll go ahead and turn it and do the same thing. Okay, we're going to hold it down. I'm going to come over here, line it up right there. Okay, so we'll remove our brick. We'll flip this over draw our lines, make our cuts, and then uh, we're basically going to be ready for final assembly. So same thing, I just use these other little cutoffs um, as straight edges. Uh, you could use a ruler if you want. Uh, this is just, you know, here from other packing and stuff. So why not? We'll use it. All right, that we're going to make our cut. Okay, flip it around, do the same thing over here. Grab our straight edge. And you know, I'm, uh, to make sure that I'm square, I'm just using the line from the fold here. I mean, you could take a, a tape measure and just take all the time you need. I mean, this is a CGC submission. If, if it takes you a little bit longer than it takes me when I've done this a million times, uh, don't worry about it. Okay, take all the time you need. Okay, we're gonna make our cut. 
And um, what I'm doing here with this just halfway cut is how I resize all of my uh, boxes, okay? So I do a lot of box resizing to make them uh, better. And uh, it's just gonna break right, right there, boom. Okay, this one is down here a little more, okay? So it's right there. See, there we go. All right, now we're ready for uh, basic final assembly of this thing. All right, put that in. Now we wanna make sure that you have your books centered within this part here. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but this is your cushion. This is your, you know, your impact zone. So you, wanna, you don't wanna have the books all the way to one side because then you're gonna lose um, some of, of that cushion. Okay, so now here is where I'm gonna switch to packing tape, all right? But even with the packing tape, I still am going to do tape pulls, okay? Like I said, we want this easy. You wanna make this as easy as possible for the people on the other end because, uh, you know, they're not graders. They're just guys un unboxing books. So, you know, they might not take the time that uh, you or I would take in unboxing. You know, they possibly could have quotas. Hey, they have to unbox X amount of shipments in an hour, and what if you send them this, this tape monster that starts taking them forever? Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some other piece of cardboard and I'm gonna stick in the middle here. Um, and that's just going to uh, give something to stop the tape from sticking to the bag, okay? You really don't want um, that hardcore shipping tape sticking um, to the bag and boards. Uh, we'll put another skinny one in here. That other one was a little bit too thick. Okay, so that's gonna protect, eh, still probably too thick one of these this one okay that's perfect all right so we'll go ahead and get this tape started on one side get it on there nice so we can hold everything tight okay make sure we're still centered yeah we're still centered okay now we'll go ahead and bring it over okay so now that's, that's good there. Now what we wanna do is we wanna secure the brick to the Gemini mailer. And then now we're gonna be back to the painter's tape because we don't want this, anything that's sticking to the, like the bag that's like a directly attached to the comic, you do not want to make that difficult for anyone to take off, okay? So we just need to keep um, this brick secured within this Gemini mailer so it can't move around, okay? And this tape, Top and bottom, both sides, is perfect for that. Now, CGC has um, some really nice Gemini mailers that they're slightly bigger um, than the standard ones, like these Gemini 2s. And they fit in their CGC boxes like a glove. So I'm actually going to you know, make a phone call and see if I can figure out where they're getting them or if, if they are getting them from Gemini and just a different size. Um, I would definitely want some of those. Uh, it makes sending to them really, really easy if you want to reuse um, their CGC boxes that they send all the comics back to you in. So that's something I'm going to look uh, into in the future. Okay, so now we've got the uh, brick secured within that Gemini mailer, it's not gonna slide around, okay? It's in there, it's in there good. But at the same time, all they have to do is grab my little tabs, rip that off. So it's gonna be so easy for them to take this apart, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and bring that over tight. Now there's one other thing. You don't want this overlap here, okay? If, you, if there's pressure pushed on this, that is going to um, add you know, unwanted pressure to the comics, okay? So now what I'll do is I'll hold these tight. Now you can draw a line if you want, but I've done this so many times. So we're just gonna score this a little bit here. Okay, come back here, we're gonna score it here. And you're not trying to go all the way through it. Uh, you just want to go halfway, just like we did on the other ones. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend this, this over, just like we were resizing this, except now I'm gonna cut the back side of it. And it's basically the same way you cut drywall, okay? So now, when we tape this together, it's a tight fit and there's no extra pressure added to the books from like two pieces of cardboard stacking on top of each other. So now we'll go ahead and grab our uh, packing tape again and we'll uh, pack that up. 
Same thing, we're going to uh, put tape poles everywhere. So it's super easy for the person on the other end to get all of these books out. We don't want them frustrated because, uh, you know, the, these books were hoping for lots of 9.8s. And if they're frustrated and, and they give a little spine tick or something and now it's 9.6, that's not good. So we don't, we don't want frustrated CGC uh, unpacking crew members, all right? Let's keep them nice and happy. All right, so now we've got that taped up. This is solid, all right? If you were only going to be doing one uh, 25 book submission, then what I would do is take this, wrap this in a whole bunch of bubble wrap, and stick it inside a uh, box that's just, you know, slightly oversized, say an inch or two all the way around with your bubble wrap, that's solid, okay? I'm doing another monster submission of 175 books, so I've done something a little bit different, okay? We'll go ahead and uh, show you what I've got going on here. Okay, so here is a standard CGC box that we are all familiar with. Okay, what I have done here is I've resized it. Now, if you're not comfortable with resizing boxes, please don't just find a box that's the right size. This is where it used to uh, come in. And what I did is I adjusted it up the size that I wanted and I took and, and scored it here and folded it down. So I've double sized it here. I've also added more of this uh, reinforcing that CGC uses, but I put it on the bottom of this one so that I'm splitting the difference of where my joints are. Okay, now I added a little false bottom here for my last uh, submission, the one that we just packed up. Okay, these uh, Gemini mailers are the ones that CGC uses to send uh, your books back to you and see how they fit within the box completely perfectly. These are standard Gemini mailers. They're a little bit shorter and then I had to add some uh, packing here to keep them secure within the box so they don't slide around. You don't want anything moving around like that. Okay, So each one of these has got 25 so there's 150 in here. Um, and if that's all you were doing, then that would fit perfectly within the, the CGC box. You wouldn't have to resize it. Because I'm doing 175, then what I've done is I've uh, made a, a few pieces of cardboard here that I can um, add, uh, create like a little false uh, bottom here. And that is going to give some security to now put the last... submission in. Okay, so now I have a nice false bottom here that I can stick our last uh, submission in and I'll go ahead and pack that up. Okay, so here's the last part of the submission now. The one that we just boxed up is sitting on top there. I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, popcorn and stuff in here. Uh, also write the, the uh, invoice number on every box, okay? That way that there's no confusion when uh, CGC is unboxing it. And I'll also stick all the paperwork right here on top for all the submissions. And then we'll go ahead and uh, box everything up. Okay, so I took and shoved a whole bunch of uh, packing material in here. Shoved a whole bunch of packing material in here. Laid all the invoices on top there. And added a little more packing material on top. Okay, now we're going to put our lid right on top there. And the next part is where I'm going to take another CGC box that I took and cut the um, flaps off of. All right. Now, I also took the top of this one. I don't know if you can see it, but see how it's tapered? I actually tapered the top of this box so that it's going to fit right inside of this other box like a shoehorn. Okay, guys, here we go. So here is the top that I made for this. So here's the, the reinforcing that's on the inside. You can just cut a strip of this. But since I'm adding to the top, I added the reinforcement to the bottom. Okay, So this is going to just slide right on top of this other one because I tapered the top of this box. So it's going to act like a, like a shoehorn and just let this sucker get down there. And I've already test fit it, and I know that it fits, but it is tight. And um, I didn't want to push it all the way down when I test fit it. So now, since we are good to go, this can go all the way down. 
and this is going to be super solid. I mean, the air pressure, I can feel this thing, you know, not wanting to go down because there's air inside. So this thing is airtight. All right. Now, the next step is on the bottom here. I'm going to go ahead and tape this. Um, and uh, that's really about it. You know, I'm going to put a few different uh, pieces of tape and it's going to be this register tape which goes on with water. Okay, that's what you want to use for all this stuff. I'll probably maybe wrap this about three times. And then um, I'm going to mark all this, you know, this side up. I'm going to also mark um, cut here, lift, you know, all these type of things to just try and make it super easy for everyone to get these apart. I mean, they could technically just open it uh, from the top and pull everything out. So that, that might be okay. I'll just put this end up because they're never going to be able to slide that off. That's like a, a one and done type of thing. Um, that, that's never going to probably come off that way again. Um, so here we go, man. 175 books, safe and sound, ready to go to CGC. We'll be unboxing these in a couple months. Okay, guys, here we go. So I've got it all marked up. I took the tape and wrapped it around two times around the joint here. Um, I need a little more of that packing tape because I have to cover um, all these old uh, registration marks. So um, I'll need to get some more of that from the post office when I actually drop it. But uh, it's looking good, super sturdy, and we'll be getting this in the mail um, Monday. Hey guys, so we are at the post office. We are all taped up, looking good. All that's left is to write the address on the top there. So this bad boy is ready to go.